In this example, we want to determine the value of x that would make the two triangles similar to each other. Well, we've been learning that if two triangles are going to be similar, it means all their angles have to be the same. In fact, in this most recent lesson, we've learned that if we can prove that just two angles are congruent to each other, using AA similarity, we can prove that the two triangles are similar. So in this overlapping uh, triangle diagram, I know that both triangles share this top angle. Because of the reflexive property, there's one of the two angles that I need. So, oops. So this part right here, these two angles must be the second pair of angles that we need to get congruent. So those two angles must be congruent if these two triangles are going to be similar. Uh, based on that, we can use that information to, to write our equation. 3x plus 9, that angle, needs to, must be equal to the other one, 6x minus 27. So we can use that to determine the equation we need to solve algebraically to find our value of x. So let's get our variables to both sides. I'll start with subtracting 3x from both sides, which would leave me with 3x over here. Uh, at the same time, I'll add 27 to the other side to get 36. And then dividing both sides by 3, I'll come up with a value of 12 for my x. Um, so going back just to reread the question to make sure we answered it, they wanted to know the value of x that would make the two triangles similar. Well, if x was 12, the two triangles would have two congruent angles, making them similar. Now, they don't ask us to actually find the angle, but what, what a great way to check it. And so I'll leave that to you if you want to try that on your own. Uh, go back and plug in 12 for x and make sure that, in fact, those two angles are going to end up the same, thereby making the triangles similar to each other.